So when I'm ready to add this annotation onto the video, I just click apply. And then magically, it's applied to the video without me having to go into annotations and doing all that stuff that I just showed you. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an annotation or a card template on TubeBuddy. All right, guys, so creating an annotation and card template, that's going to be really helpful because when you do that, then you can just go and add them really easily to your videos. Now, if you've already tried to add annotations and cards normally on YouTube, basically when you upload a video, you have to go in there manually after it's uploaded, then go into the annotations tab, type out whatever your annotation is, um, then set it, put it at a certain time, um, and then if you want to do that for the cards as well, you need to go in there manually and choose a card and place it and basically do it separately and manually each time that you need it. The thing with TubeBuddy, if you've not heard about TubeBuddy, is it makes it easier for you to do annotations and cards. And it's one of the reasons why I got TubeBuddy because we use annotations, cards, and end screens on all of our videos. They are very beneficial. They help you get more sales, more views, and they're just great action takers for people to have on the screen. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on TubeBuddy. All right, so you'll know that if you have TubeBuddy is if you have it installed the Chrome extension and then you'll see these like little TB logos everywhere. That's how you know that you have TubeBuddy installed onto your computer. It's like an overlay on YouTube. So if you don't already have it, after this video, you can head down to the description below. I've got a link for you guys. You can go and check it out and see if it's a right fit for you. So let me show you how I use the annotation template. Okay, so after you've uploaded a video, let's say I've just uploaded this video. This is a yoga mat review that I just did. I started doing yoga about a month ago. It's pretty good. All right, so let's say that I've just uploaded this video and I want to create an annotation template so that I can reuse that template over and over again. So I'm just gonna do a test one right now because I've already created our templates for our annotations. So I don't need to create a new one right now. I'll just create a test one. So you'll notice that it already just took me to the end screen if you don't have any annotations or cards, um, but I want an annotation. So I'm gonna head over to annotations here. All right, so the thing with TubeBuddy is when you are doing an annotation template, you need to create the template manually first and then it'll be automated after that. So you only need to do it once, whereas regular YouTube way is you need to do it over and over and over again every time you upload a video. And that was honestly for me because we upload videos four to five times a week, sometimes six times a week. It can get really annoying to do those annotations and cards on every single video. All right, so you would create your annotation as normal. So usually we do something like a, a note or something. And then let's say here, um, check out my other reviews, right? This would just be a test. And I would put it in purple, make the font bigger. And I would make this a little bit bigger. Okay, place it in the corner. This is what this is what I would typically do. I would use other text, um, but I would have it purple, have the text, um, have the size font at 16, um, make it a little bigger, and I would place it in the top left usually. All right, so usually I would click on this part here and add a link, but uh, this is just a test right now, so I'm gonna leave this blank, but usually I do paste a link to um, either another video or a website, our associated website. So I'm gonna uncheck that right now, but that usually is checked. And we have sized this accordingly. So I want 
my annotation to go from the beginning and up to here, up to five minutes. So once I'm done creating my template as normal, then you would go all the way to the bottom here, you scroll to the bottom, and when you have the TubeBuddy Chrome extension, it says, set this video as an annotation template. So when I check this off, what I've just done here is now a template. So in my future videos, I would potentially use this template on other review videos. So it's just as simple as that. You click that and it is already set as a template. All right, so now that I've set that as a template, I'll show you guys how easily you can add it on. So when you're in your video manager, you actually don't even have to go into the video. You can if you want to, but wherever you see the TubeBuddy logo here, you can just click on this, click on it for the video that you want to add the template to, the annotation template. So I want to do it on this one. So I would basically click on that. This drop down thing is going to come up and under annotations, it says here, apply template. So you know that one that we just created? Well, now I can easily just add it onto a video without having to actually do it. So you'll see here in the drop down, I've got a bunch already, but here was the one that we did just a couple of minutes ago for the incline fit yoga mat review. Remember I created that one that said, you know, check out my reviews. So if I click on that, it's going to show the template that I just created. So here the text, it says, check out my reviews and remember the link. I didn't have a link, but usually I do. So when I'm ready to add this annotation onto the video, I just click apply and then magically it's applied to the video without me having to go into annotations and doing all that stuff that I just showed you. So you can imagine how useful this tool is when you are uploading videos all the time, like daily or even a couple times a week. This saves a ton of time because it would honestly, it, it took so much time to go in there, type it out, resize, do this, the color, it, it's just, it just simplifies everything. And when I saw that TubeBuddy had this function, like this was one of the main reasons why I got this service. So after you see this message, you're gonna see here annotations successfully applied. So then you just click okay. And if you really are feeling uneasy about it, you know, in the beginning it was like, did this really work? So I would go in there and click edit and I would go and see if it actually did it for real because I was really hesitant and really skeptical to see that it actually did it properly. So if you want to check it out, head over to annotations. So it's going to ask me here, um, I'm going to click no, I want to go to annotations. All right, so you see right there, check out my other reviews. That's the one I created and I said I wanted it to the beginning and I wanted it up to five minutes. I wanted it purple. And I wanted the size to be 16 with, with the font being white like that. I wanted it in this area. It copied it exactly and it did it perfectly. So that's how you do TubeBuddy with annotations. And the same thing goes for cards as well. So I'm going to show you that too. So for cards, it's the same thing. You need to set up the card. So let's say I want to promote another video and let's say I want to promote uh, this review I did of a speaker, this tiny speaker that um, I used to have this brand for two to three years and it broke. So I got a new one. So let's say I want this to go right in the middle, right? I need to create the card template first. So when I'm done with that, I'll head down to the bottom and click set this as a card template. So I'm going to check mark that and the changes are saved. So basically now this is a template that I can use for other videos. So then when I head over to video manager and again, I choose the video that I want to add the card to, I would basically choose the TubeBuddy thing and I would go apply template. Then this is going to pop up here, the one that we just created. And then we would, we would add this card to the video and all you have to do is click apply. So card successfully applied. Again, you can see how easy it is. I don't have to go in there and do it every single time. 
Now we have cards and annotations set up for different video, different types of videos because on Mondays we do a certain type of video, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, basically each day that we release a video has a different annotation. And when we got to Buddy in the beginning, I went in there and I created a annotation and card template for each type of video that we release. So after I did that, I basically went in to our YouTube channel and I went and I added them easily to all the videos that didn't have any. So currently we are all up to date with all of our cards and annotations and TubeBuddy, like it made it more exciting for me to do that because before I seriously hated doing cards and annotations because it took so long. And you know what, if you have the same type of card or annotation that you want on all of your videos, you can do that too. You can actually bulk upload annotations and cards if they're all the same. So that is how you create annotation and card templates on TubeBuddy. Like I said, this tool saves me a lot of time. I use it every day now when I upload videos. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, head to the description below. I've got a link for you guys to check it out. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.